Hello. Would you like to side, side. Holy shit, he's cooking. Okay, um. That's why. Yo, what is up? How is everyone doing? Let me know in the comments. Ghost of Tabor dropped a spicy update on us about a week ago, and I want to give my overall thoughts on update 0.7.0. Is it good? Is it bad? Stick around to the end of the video, and we'll find out. We probably aren't going to talk about every single fix in detail, but the bigger changes and the features added, and what I think about them with about 10 hours on the update. I want to take just a quick second to thank everyone for over 3,900 subs. We are quickly approaching 4,000, and ideally, I would love to be at 5,000 by the end of the year. Also, make sure to follow us over on Twitch if you want to watch Tabor live. And we're doing community nights, so make sure you join the Discord. All right, let's get into it. So the streamer cam. I think one of the coolest changes and most obvious from the footage that is playing is the streamer cam, and it will fundamentally change the way people watch Tabor content forever. The stabilization and roll lock is absolutely perfect, and the zoom ADS feature is freaking cool. It's not perfect, and myself and a few other Tabor creators have had issues with it zooming to the floor because of how we ready our weapons for combat, but it's something I'm sure that can be worked on in the future. But overall, the streamer cam out of the box is a four out of five. Let's just go ahead and get into the maps, since most likely if you're watching this, you're interested in my thoughts on the new maps. The first night of the update, I played exclusively underground with my community. Which, if you haven't subscribed and joined the Discord, once again, you are missing out. Hit the sub button, join the Discord in the description. But Underground is slowly becoming one of my favorite maps to play. I spent the first four hours of the first night of the update exclusively running Underground. I'm still learning the map and there is a lot to learn. But I think the mixture between the lighter and darker areas of the maps, the tight quarters and the old bunker being present and lootable, and the absolute ton of Fenix, it reminds me so much of a larger silo, and silo is one of my favorite maps ever. I think underground is a big W. Extractions being laced with metal detectors is an interesting touch, encouraging the inner rat in me when I hear them go off. I think that the vast amount of Fenix in the map make it a solid choice for running Fenix kill missions as well. Then we have Maka. Maka got a massive map overhaul and the addition of daytime added. The second session of this update, I played with TDVR Gaming and we farmed Maka day for about three hours, hunting for the new boss, which we will talk about later in this video. I think Maka day paired with the map expansion is slowly going to become the new island. Speaking of map expansion, interiors were added in the museum and the cathedral, making Matka a bit more like streets from Tarkov. These interiors are massive hotspots for player activity and Fenix activity. A new boss, the Collector, spawns in the museum, so oftentimes you're going to find players rushing that rather large building that has a ton of entrances for the boss as well as a ton of loot boxes making player kill missions extremely lucrative on Maka. Side note, the museum is absolutely the creepiest and coolest location Ghost of Tabor has ever created, in my opinion. It's worth noting, too, that some spawns have been adjusted across all maps, and they are okay, there's nothing incredibly notable about it. The biggest controversy in the game, and I've seen so much complaining in true community Tabor fashion across Discord and Facebook groups, is the new extraction-based timer. Before this update, players would spawn in naked and rush the various static spawns across the game. Soon as they secured that GPU or key card or streamer item, they would immediately run to exfil. It changed the game from an extraction based shooter that was high stakes to a speed run where the players like myself that played the game as intended would get empty lobbies and not good static spawn items. Combat Waffle Studios realized this and implemented a raid timer. So essentially now once you spawn in, you have to wait five minutes on silo or 10 minutes on all other maps before the X fills unlock. This is an incredibly good feature in my opinion. You're still going to get naked runs pushing high loot value places to snag something. We saw this a lot on Matka Day and book it to the X fill to wait it out. But now with the X fill timer, you can just pick them off at 
the X-Fill before they're able to actually extract. I absolutely love the X-Fill timer and it really has zero effect on my gameplay style. NRSs were like another massive change that people are on the fence about, but they underwent the biggest change as well. So instead of jamming them in your arm and being done and able to get back into the gunfight, you have to hold them there for a certain duration. It makes sense for realism and now you have to pick and choose when is the best time to heal and use one of those in the midst of a firefight. My strategy around this is simply just to try not to get shot. Um, but there is so much more to this update that we could talk about and dive into. But I wanted to talk about, in my opinion, the biggest changes that I was most excited about or had the most opinions about. Overall, I think this update has been a massive success for Tabor and the players of Ghosts of Tabor. I'm personally having the most fun in this update that I've had in a long time. And I think that reflects in the content that I'm posting around the game again. I finally think that we have reached a point with all of the maps and day and night variations if there is a map to fit every mood or play style that you might be feeling but that's going to do it for me if you liked the video leave a like if you love the video hit the subscribe button and if you hated it let me know and we can settle it on the island